Nothing. To be honest with you, I've never experienced anything like this before. I just wanted to get your take on a bizarre case I saw today. What's the matter? I can't see. Somehow that patient infected me. That's impossible. Uh, Nobody goes blind like that. Good morning, Minister. Some strange calls this morning. Hello? Security at 18. Ready? Well, I'm going to have to ask you to come with us. May I have those files, please? My fellow citizens, like so many of you, I have gone blind. We are in a state of crisis. They're going to be here any minute. The decision to quarantine all those infected was not taken without careful consideration. Step down, ma'am. You're not blind. This vehicle is for the infected. No, and you'll have to take me. Fine, have it your way. Is there any government or, or order? Chaos. Help me! Help me stop that! We're obviously all alone here. Who do you think you are, giving all these orders? I hereby appoint myself the King of War Three. We are taking over now. If you want to eat, you're going to have to pay for you it. You know we don't have any money. God is punishing us. This is what is happening. I can see. I think it's up to you to decide what we should do next. You can make a difference. You're afraid to close your eyes. I'm afraid to open them. If they won't give us food, I say let's get it ourselves. Everybody, please, please, stick together. We haven't eaten in three days. Well, lady, I'll never forget your voice. And I won't forget your face. So this is the Blindness Review, take two. Okay, so why are we take twoing? Well, from popular demand by viewer comments, uh, who were a little upset with us, you know, the first time mm. giving it a trailer miss. And some of the comments were perhaps that we missed a lot of the symbolism in the trailer, mm -hmm. as well as maybe suggesting that we were blind ourselves. Oh, well, I think that that's probably going directly to me since this is your mm -hmm. first time seeing it. But I'll take it. I can take the heat. Mm -hmm. um, and so seeing it your second time, is there anything that you want to change or you want to tell the viewers that something that you might have picked up on that you missed the first time? Definitely. And I thank you guys for, uh, for being sort of our barometer out there and, and, and forcing us to take a second look. Yeah, keeping us honest. Keeping us honest. And yeah. that's why we have viewers, because these are just mm -hmm. our opinions. And if we miss something, we're happy to uh, take a second look at it. So. Yeah, you know, I think I did completely miss the point the first time around. I was not focusing at all on the symbolism and the metaphors. Actually, it didn't even come into my mind when I was watching it. I was sort of a little bit more focused on the genre of the film and sort of the fact that it was a little bit of, uh, felt a little bit like an I Am Legend or an outbreak, which is sort of the end of the world, everybody gets this disease type of thing. And so for me, I sort of felt like I'd seen it and you know that was sort of what my review was based on. But after seeing it a second time, really impressed to see all the symbolism and metaphors that I had missed the first time around. You know, from seeing it my first time, I mean, the the one thing that really stuck out in my mind was when you know all those like highway shots, and it was very you know like when the bus just like literally uh, clearly that person was blind instantly and hit the yeah. wall. Yeah, I mean it happens like that. You know, it was like like this bell would go off, and people just all of a sudden realize they're blind. And you would hear their thoughts, and it's just a really high concept trailer with a lot of choices made even in the trailer that you know that things that we haven't seen before. And also, you know, in, in speaking to the film, I mean, I know that they had like 700 extras that they had to teach, you know, how to, you know, act as if they were blind. I mean, to lose one of your senses and then have to act that you've lost one of these senses and pass it off as you're blind is not an easy thing to do. No, I mean, I definitely don't think that a lot of these actors had probably ever experienced that again. And you mentioned, uh, you know, the extras and, and, and the fact that they had to learn to be blind. Apparently, one of the things they did is blindfolded people, you know, on random days, they didn't tell them this was going to happen and dropped them off in the middle of nowhere. 
and literally left them to try to find their way and figure things out. And apparently people just had massive breakdowns when they realized that they couldn't see. It doesn't sound fun. No, it doesn't sound fun yeah. at all, but I think it speaks to sort of, you mentioned the high concept. I mean, obviously the things that they went through to sort of make this real and to pass this off. And it is important to say too that it, this film has been getting a lot of negative criticism from, you know, from blind associations. Well, and, yeah, the National, you know, you mentioned that, the National Federation of the Blind is mm -hmm. planning to picket this film in 21 states. I mean, this is their largest, you know, type, you know, of demonstration in 68 years. And, and, the, and the reason for this is because they feel that, um, that it gives blind people a bad name, that they wouldn't act this violent or like this. But it's really about an epidemic where people suddenly go blind in a mass you know, I, in, not that they're missing the point, you know, you don't want to represent a group no. in a negative way, but where you have this mass epidemic, I believe people would behave in that manner. I think you're exactly right, because it's not, it, it really, and this is what I missed the first time going around, it's not just really a film about going blind. It's, uh, it's literally about humanity and what happens when, you know, a, a tragedy really hits a, a group of people and they're stuck in this quarantine and they can't see and sort of, you know, the, you know, the disintegration of basically all of our morals and values and, and all the things that we've based our life on thus far. One of which being vision. I mean, it's very important. People start to panic and freak out and resort to things they wouldn't normally do. You know, the film turns out to be like a microcosm, you know, much like Lord of the Flies was, the, book, the novel. You know, it's like you put these, you know, kids on an island, you put a bunch of blind people together who had just lost their blindness. and, mm -hmm. and this is one of the variables. This is one of the outcomes that could happen. They could have a total breakdown of social structure where, you know, one guy anoints himself king and he has a gun and he's blind and he's firing Rationing shots. Food and, 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 you know, yeah. this is a feasible outcome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think you're really right. I think it's more of a study in humanity and sort of, you know, what would happen in this kind of situation than it is really about being blind. So seeing this your second time, what's your review? Well, I really appreciate you guys having me watch it a second time because I did completely miss the point the first time around. Um, having seen it a second time, I have a newfound appreciation for this trailer. There was a lot more going on that I really didn't see the first time around. It was a lot deeper, so um, I'm going to give it a trailer hit. I agree. I give it a trailer hit as well. So this time around, part two, we both give it trailer hits. This has been TrailerHits.com. We'll see you next time.